In today's video, I'm going to show you the best settings to stop Kodi buffering for good. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the TT buffer fix to get rid of buffering for good. Now this will stop Kodi buffering for Android boxes, it will stop Kodi buffering for Fire Sticks. Any device using Kodi, you'll be able to stop your buffering with this. So in this video, I'm going to go through some general settings that you guys can use to fix buffering if you don't want to do any calculations. Then I'm going to show you how to do the calculations to get the 100% correct settings for your device. And I'm going to give you a brief explanation about why we get buffering. So first of all, the reason we get the buffering is because you cannot download the stream fast enough to continuously play it. So that will either be because your internet is too slow or because the source you're downloading from is too slow. Luckily, we can increase the buffer size to hold more in the buffer and that will allow us to watch without the buffering. So to do this we're going to use the TT buffer fix add-on and this is a modified version of easy advanced settings it's modified for Kodi 17 so a lot of other videos I've seen show you these settings using an unmodified version and that actually won't work at all is there were some big changes in Kodi 17 that completely changed the labels so I'm going to show you how to get the TT buffer fix add-on and then I'm going to show you the settings you need to change so first of all we'll get the add-on and you can do that by adding the top tutorial source in file manager for anyone that doesn't have it it's nice and easy to install the first thing we need to do is go to settings which is the cog at the top in the middle once in here we need to choose file manager in the bottom right hand corner once in here you need to choose add source from the left hand side menu and we then need to input the path and the path we need to use is http toptutorialsrepo.co.uk forward slash Kodi and as always the link for that is down in the description for you guys as well. As soon as you've typed that in if you simply press on ok we can then give it a name so you can call it anything you like I'm just going to call it top tutorials repo and as soon as we've done that we can press on ok. We then need to press back twice to return to the Kodi home screen and we then need to select add-ons from the left hand side menu. Once in add-ons we need to choose the box in the top left corner that you see highlighted now. We then need to go down to install from zip file. In here we need to choose the top tutorials repo we created just a second ago. Go down to maintenance. And in here you'll find Kodi 17 buffering fix.zip. So all you have to do is press on that and it will download and install the TT buffer fix. So it's a direct install, so it should take a few seconds. And as you can see by the notification in the top right corner there, TT buffer fix has been enabled. So as soon as you've done that, if you head over to your video add-ons, you'll find TT buffer fix. So all we need to do is open it up and enter the settings in. So as I said, First of all, I'm going to go through some general settings. If you cannot be bothered to work things out for your device, these settings should fix it for you. So when we open up the add-on, we need to go into edit settings. In here, the only option available, we need to choose network settings. And in here, the only folder available at the top, we need to choose cache. So we're only going to change three settings in here that should get everything working for you. And these are these three at the bottom here. So the memory size, that's the actual size of the buffer, the buffer mode and the read factor in there as well. So the memory size, the general setting for this, and it should work well for all devices, is it's quite a small number. So even if you've only got one gigabyte of RAM, then this should be sufficient. So the number we need to put in here is 419430. 400 and for anyone that wants to know that number is actually a file size in bytes so as soon as you've done that if you simply press on ok you'll now see that it turns green and the memory size has been set and as i said these are general settings that will work with pretty much all devices but those of you with more ram we can increase that and i'll be showing you that shortly so buffer mode press on that and it gives you a selection and we want buffer mode one and finally, the read factor, we press on this. As you can see, it comes up disabled, delete out disabled, and the number we need to put in here is 4.0. So again, type that in, press OK, and that is our setting set. So if we go back, so you can either press your back button or the two dots at the top. Press it again, so back button or two dots at the top. 
one more time to bring us to the home screen and in here we need to press write xml file so if we go ahead and press on that we'll get a notification in the top right corner to say file created and what that's done is created a file in our Kodi directory that will tell it to use these settings and one thing you can do to check is if you view active advanced settings.xml it will come up with the correct settings here. So these are the settings that Kodi 17 needs. And if you look to the right, this is an example of the settings that the normal Easy Advanced settings use. It uses the network tag instead of cache, which doesn't work for Kodi 17. So that's it for the general settings. If you punch those in, it should fix your buffering. If not, it will at least improve it. Now, for those of you that want to put the exact specific settings for your device, I'll show you how to do that now. So when it comes to the buffer size the buffer size is actually using ram and it actually uses three times the amount of that number you put in so if you want to put a specific buffer size for your device the first thing we need to do is work out how much ram we have free and you need to know how much ram is free while Kodi is running luckily for us Kodi actually gives us that information so all you need to do is back out to the Kodi home screen when you're here, we need to go to settings again, which is the cog at the top in the middle. Once we're in settings, you can see we've got system information at the bottom left. And in here, under summary, we can see the first bit at the top here. It says free memory, 2375 megabytes. So I'm currently using an R99 box and it does have four gigabytes of RAM. So you can see I've got about 2.3 spare. Now, one thing you need to do is when doing these calculations, I wouldn't use that exact number there. I would go slightly less. So I'm just gonna go for 2,200 megabytes as you don't want to be using more RAM than you have available. So just take a little bit off and use that number there. So as I said, I'm gonna use 2,200 megabytes but the number we punch into Kodi is in bytes and not megabytes. Luckily, it's nice and easy to work that number out. So I'm just gonna use the Windows calculator to work that out. So the number I'm going to use is 2,200 megabytes as it's slightly less than the number I have here. And don't worry, this calculation is gonna be down in the description below to help you. So I've got 2,200 megabytes. So I'll type in 2,200. Now, as I said, Kodi will use three times the amount of the number that you put in. So the first thing we want to do is divide this number by three. So if I simply divide that by three, and we'll see what we get, which is about 733 megabytes. Now, as I said, the number in Kodi is in bytes and this number here is in megabytes. So first thing I would do is times by 1024. And the reason for that is there are 1024 kilobytes in a megabyte. So if I type that in, that's now the number I need in kilobytes. So now I need to times it by 1024 again to get the number in bytes. So if I times 1024, this is the number I need to put into Kodi. And don't worry about the decimals, just put this number in. So to reiterate, you go your number in megabytes, divide that by three, times that number by 1024, and then times the result by 1024 again. And as you can see, the number I've ended up with is 7689557333. So that's the number I'm going to punch into Kodi. So in Kodi, if we return back to the add-on, the TT buffer fix, and as I said, we'll get that under add-ons and under our video add-ons, we can then go to exactly the same place. So we go to edit settings. In here we go network settings. In here we go cache. And these numbers, the bottom two, leave exactly the same whatever number you put in. But memory size, I've just worked out the specific memory size that I want to use for this device. And that was 768 955 733. As I said, do not worry about the decimals, just round it down. Press OK and I've now set my new memory size and as you can see it is quite a bit bigger than the old number and the reason for that is the general number is aimed at devices with about one gigabyte of RAM. So now that's in, again if we press the two dots or our back button, go back again, go back one more time and I can now press on write XML file. And one bit of advice I would give you guys is once you've done these settings, restart your device as Kodi will read them when it's booting. But if we check now, 
view easy advanced settings.xml you can see that my new settings are in there and those are the settings I've punched in. So now I can restart Kodi and I should be able to watch all of my content without any buffering. Now this will work for pretty much all devices and everything in Kodi. When it comes to movies and TV shows, this is gonna pretty much eliminate your buffering altogether. Sometimes though, when it comes to live TV, you do get some live TV streams that are just frankly awful. There's a free stream, too many people are watching it, so there's just no way it can send the data fast enough. So that sort of stream you won't be able to fix, but there are gonna be plenty of streams out there that it has fixed for you. So if you like this video, and if it did help your buffering, please don't forget to like and share so that we can help others as well. If this didn't work for you, or you are having any issues with what I've just showed you, leave them down in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But as always, thank you guys for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.